All right, so we're your family. So you know you want to go to the Caribbean islands, but you just don't know where. You have specific taste. You've watched other video countdowns about Caribbean islands, and you've come away just as confused as you were when you turned the video on. That's because you only want to know the top 10 Caribbean islands to find what you're specifically looking for. You don't care about the gross domestic product or Siberian wildflowers. You just want to know if this Caribbean expedition will be right for you. The same thing happens to me when I research places that I'm unfamiliar with but want to visit. That's why I created this list. By the end, you'll know exactly which island to visit to find what you're personally looking for. The Instagram photos of your vacation will be a viral sensation to friends and family, but more importantly, each picture will bring back memories that you will never want to forget. This list covers where most people will be, which island has the nicest scenery, which Caribbean island is the safest, where to go if you want to splurge a small fortune, where to find love or a quick island fling, or do you want to know which island has the least strict COVID restrictions so you can actually get to go there. I've been all over the Caribbean and today I will show you the top 10 Caribbean islands to find exactly what you're looking for. And number two on this list will shock the bejesus out of you. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. So coming in with close to 7 million tourists a year, the Dominican Republic is first on this list. If you want to go where everyone is going for one reason or another, the DR is it. One of those other reasons may make DR show up again later on this list. I understand why so many people come here. The weather is nice and the people are super friendly. If you ever get to visit the Three Eyes Cave in Santo Domingo, Paradise Mano in Los Melones, or any of the all-inclusive resorts in Punta Cana, you'll see why so many people are making the Dominican Republic their vacation of choice. The most popping times of the year to visit the DR is between December and March. Snobby travel gurus may tell you to wait until the peak season is over and to go right before the rainy season around July to September. Not me, I think you should go when the atmosphere is lively. Go while festivals are going on and while everyone is outside. Get the full experience of the Dominican Republic, especially if this is going to be your first time. There's a reason why this island is visited more than others. This is a hot spot, and there's always more to see and do in hot spots, and the rest of the world already knows about it. Choosing the most visited Caribbean islands is a great way to catch up with what other tourists already know. Number five is Montserrat, which comes in as the safest Caribbean island to visit. 20 years ago, thanks to the eruptions of the Safrari Hills volcano that killed 19 people, more than half of Montserrat's population relocated to other islands. Around 2020, as soon as the residents started moving back and as tourism was starting to get back on track, they then had to deal with COVID. So why in the hell would I rank this island the safest? Montserrat is probably the safest island to visit in the world. It's been 13 years since anyone on this island had to pop a cap in someone else's ass. Whatever they're doing to keep their murder rate down to zero, yes, I said zero. They need to teach it to the rest of the world. This place is gorgeous. The zero murders probably has a lot to do with them living in a real world version of Ryzen. Yeah, that's a Star Trek reference. So what? Go Google it. You Google? All right, whatever. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not quite like Ryza because half of the island is still covered in volcanic ash. The government has marked off what is now called the exclusion zone on the southern side of this island for public safety. As of October 10th, 2021, fully vaccinated visitors are now able to step foot back on the most beautiful, secluded, exotic island your eyes will ever see. You'll only be able to visit one third of this island, but it is safe and well worth the money. Their slave revolt celebration happens in mid-March and it lasts for about a week. And God willing, I'll be there in 2022 to celebrate right along with them. It's gonna be a very expensive trip. But if you have doubts about visiting Montserrat, read some of the reviews about Rendezvous Beach on TripAdvisor. I'm sure you'll wanna come right along with me. Now the most expensive Caribbean island right now is number four, Anguilla. Like Montserrat, the Anguilla residents are 90% black. The island is expensive, but again, you'll get exactly what you pay for. You know how sometimes you get to an island, but all of the tourist attractions make it seem like you're just in another coastal city in America? You will not experience that in Anguilla. That's why you gotta be willing to pay the big bucks while visiting Anguilla. You most likely have to fly into Puerto Rico or St. Martin to get into Anguilla. The J. Lloyd Airport in Anguilla, which was once called Wall Blake, 
how the runway so small it used to be the hardest level on the Microsoft Flight Simulator game. And that's not a joke. As of recent, a lot of renovations have been done, so it may be more accommodating to larger planes now. But before you step foot on this island, you're required to pay a $1,000 visitor's fee. Then you'll pay a $20 departure fee when you're leaving. You may be able to find some cheap resorts in Anguilla like Royal Palms or Turtle's Nest, but more popular resort rooms are about $750 a night and up. And it's usually the and up. Even a value meal in McDonald's in Anguilla is over $16. But if you're willing to spend the type of money that it takes to get to Anguilla, I'm sure fast food is not your ideal food anyway. Anguilla has what I call the MTB Cribs of luxury resorts. If you plan to splurge on a wedding or celebrate a million dollar business deal, then Anguilla is the place to do it. Now the island with the least COVID-19 is number three, the Cayman Islands. According to the JHU CSSE COVID-19 data, the Cayman Islands has had a total of 960 cases and only two deaths from COVID. While many other islands saw around the level of three to four, Cayman Islands enjoy being on a steady level one. When you visit the travel.state.gov site for the Cayman Islands, it will read, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has issued a level one travel health notice for the Cayman Islands due to COVID-19 indicating a low level of COVID-19 in the country. Your risk of contracting COVID-19 and developing severe symptoms may be lower if you're fully vaccinated with an FDA authorized vaccine. Before planning any international travel, please review the CDC's specific recommendations for vaccinated and unvaccinated travelers. There are restrictions in place affecting U.S. citizen entries into the Caymans. Visit the Embassy's COVID-19 page for more information on COVID-19 and related restrictions and conditions in the Cayman Islands. To visit the Cayman Islands from the U.S., you will have to be fully vaccinated. Side note, you will not get banned from YouTube for talking about COVID-19, Dr. Watkins. If you use facts backed up by data and evidence. That's just a side note, nothing else. Now, where to find love in the Caribbean? That is number two, Trinidad. If you've met a Trini girl that lives in America, you probably thought, yeah, she's cute, but there's no way in the world I'm dealing with a chick with an attitude like that. In my teens and young 20s, I used to think all chicks from the islands hated black dudes from America. The island girls usually wouldn't give me or any of my friends the time of day, even though I was a prolific game spitter in my days. So like me, you may have been under the impression that the men in Trinidad are ready to wrap those feathered carnival wings around those chicks' necks. But that's not the case. Trinidad girls who still live in Trinidad are real freaking cool. Moving to America made them the assholes that some of them have become. This is the same thing that happens to girls from other islands and Africa that move to America. What I've come to realize is that it's not Caribbean hate for African Americans. It's a Caribbean's attempt at being a racist white person that makes them act this way. Some islanders were taught that all they would need to do to assimilate into America and reap the benefits that America has to offer is love anything white and hate anything black. What's more American than racism? The sad thing that can sometimes take them about a decade to realize is that everyone in America considers them black too. Soon enough, the same hate that they're dishing out will come back to them by others in America. Then they'll be like, oh! Fortunately, in a lot of cases, the girls who have always lived in Trinidad and Tobago have family members that are as white as a toilet and some family members that are as black as pure vanilla. And unfortunately, like a lot of other women, the only color they really see is green. But if you run into a Trini girl that is not a gold digger, they're gonna be beautiful. They're gonna have a great sense of humor and they'll treat you with a lot of respect. Multiply all of that times two if you're rich and in shape. The same goes for women looking to date a Trini dude. Just make sure that America hasn't confused them yet. All right now, so what is the number one Caribbean island to vacation? Number one is Jamaica. Jamaica wins another Passport Kings countdown. The parties in Jamaica are epic and everyone there understands that Jamaica is the land of inhibition. The Jamaican women are sweet to us tourist dudes, and the Jamaican men are experts at charming tourist chicks' pants off. The excursions, resorts, and Airbnbs are the main ingredients for the formula for viral Instagram photos. Once you visit Jamaica for the first time, going back will always be on your to-do list. Jamaica has a vibe that you can't find anywhere else. I have three videos on YouTube where I'm in Jamaica trying to put into words what the vibe of Jamaica is like. Click on the end screen playlist to check those videos out. However, I feel like watching a video on YouTube won't describe what I'm talking about. You need to be there. 
While reggae music is playing, tourists are dancing, and Jamaican people are vibing. In Jamaica, you'll feel like everything is falling into place for you, like a king, a passport king. Now this question comes from a Trini girl on my video called Caribbean Carnivals that you must visit before you die. She says, You don't know what you're talking about. The Trini Carnival started all the Caribbean Carnivals. How could you possibly put Barbados in the number one spot? Get my answer to this question and to all of my video comments questions on my podcast called Travel Hedge Radio. It's new and it's hot. The link to my podcast is in the description, but you can find it wherever you download your podcast. I hope to see y'all there. Peace.